The package comes with two types of water. One is more realistic with these beautiful reflections. The other is more simplistic and cartoonish. Both waters work on the same principles. They have a bunch of springs and you can actually play around with a lot of different values to control how they react. To get started, click on the link in the description below, sign up, and you will get a link in your inbox with access to all of my free assets every single month. Click on the 2D water, click download, and now it's time to import the package. Once installed, you will see a new 2D water folder. There you will find the prefabs folder which contains the two types of water. Simply drag and drop the water into your scene and you should be ready to go. If you don't see your water, it's probably displaying on the wrong sorting layer. You can change that in the mesh renderer component. Make sure you type in the correct name of the layer and also the correct sorting order. The dynamic wave settings affect how the water reacts to objects colliding with its surface. You can turn it on or off. The constant waves can also be turned on or off. The number of springs controls how detailed the water will be, sort of like the resolution of the water. If you're playing around with the size of your water, make sure that your box collider fits your mesh. If you're using the reflective water, make sure that the child camera of the water is in the center of the water and that the projection size is correctly set up so that the water can reflect properly. The package also includes bubble particles which you can easily implement if you watch my dust effect tutorial. The package is not perfect, but I hope you'll find it useful. If you encounter any problems, join our Discord server and ask questions there. I will do my very best to help you out. Stay tuned for more free stuff.